Yo guys, Chris here, and today we have a huge video on everything you need to know in Forza Horizon 4. Now, I've had many other separate videos of little things about the game, like the confirmed cars and cool little things, maybe about the map and such, but today, this video is about everything that we know. Uh, so, first off, let me start off with the release date. It is October 2nd, and it's September 28th with the early access, and uh, I'll speak on you know the different uh, things you're gonna get with the early access uh, later on in the video uh, so next we have the platforms uh, for the Xbox one we are gonna have 1080p uh, probably 60 FPS uh, but it's at least 30 FPS and uh, you do need Xbox Live Gold for that uh, on Xbox one X it has native 4k and 60 frames per second and on Windows 10, it is native 4K, and it's going to be at least 60 frames per second. Uh, so that's good there. Uh, for your pre-order info, uh, we'll be able to pre-order this game starting tomorrow, or otherwise midnight. And if you're a subscriber watching this video, it's probably available for pre-order as you're watching. Uh, but for the standard edition, you're going to get the game on October 2nd, and you know, the game. Uh, it's part of the Game Pass as well. If you're going to get the Deluxe Edition, which is $80, you're going to get the game on October 2nd, and you're going to get the Car Pass, which, as you know, is seven months filled with seven cars. Uh, so you're going to get 49 cars there. Uh, that's good there. And the Formula Drift Car Pack, which I'm sure are going to have Formula Drift cars in them, like the uh, 350Z, uh, different GTR stuff like that. Uh, basically, kind of like the Hoonigan car pack we got, except this one's for Formula Drift. Now, the ultimate edition, which would be the one I'm getting, which is uh, $99.99. Uh, this is all in U.S. currency. You get the four-day early access, meaning you get the game on the 28th. The Formula Drift car pack, the car pass, and we're going to be getting the expansion pass as well, which is a good thing uh, because that wasn't part of Motorsport 7. Uh, so, two expansions. Who knows what the expansions will be in this game uh, and VIP membership which will more than likely be double your credits and a few cars uh, plus more to come as well uh, the location is historic Britain uh, we do know that is Edinburgh because we saw that in the trailer and Scotland as well uh, and uh, for the size uh, quote here, Ralph Fulton says that it'll be approximately the same size as the Forza Horizon 3 map. Uh, it'll probably be slightly bigger because I don't think they want to downgrade it, but it's about the same size. Um, right now for the full launch car list, uh, the cover car is the McLaren Senna and the 1997 Land Rover Defender 90. And uh, we have 100 manufacturers. Not confirmed a Toyota yet, but 100 manufacturers makes me think that Toyota could be in this game and 450 cars so an average of 45 cars per manufacturer uh, but that won't happen they'll probably be like 40 Lamborghinis uh, 40 Ferraris a lot of Porsche a lot of Nissan Mazda stuff like that the usual uh, for the weather and terrain we now know that there are dynamic seasons spring summer fall and winter or they call it autumn uh, for their fall which is really cool we're gonna have to see how they uh, transition whether there's going to be a cutscene from each uh uh what's it from each season or if they're just going to like it's just going to happen naturally uh who knows uh for the uh weather though we there are going to be clear skies snow rain and thunderstorms confirmed thunderstorms was something we didn't have in horizon 3 that would just you know pop up in free roam uh, dry, wet, icy, snowy, muddy, and or dry, wet, icy, snowy, and muddy conditions are all confirmed as well from the trailer and from articles. Uh, the type of different roads we have are asphalt, dirt roads, grassy fields, hills, and cities. It's nice that we're seeing uh, cities in the game to kind of add some depth. And the temperature plays an effect on handling of the car. Now, usually in Horizon 3, the temperature of your tire. It does help you out, but it doesn't help you out too much or hurt you. Uh, but in this game, it looks like the temperature is going to play an effect, so maybe it's going to be easier to drift in the cold and race in the summer. Uh, who knows? One cool thing that's going to be in the Forza game is uh, the route creator. So we're going to be able to design our own custom races anywhere around the world, share them to the community. Uh, so that is going to be good. So 
I'm assuming it's going to take the place of the blueprints because the blueprint was kind of a route creator, but I think we're going to be able to get more diverse with this type of route creator. Uh, next is the customization options. Uh, everything on the older Forzas will usually have the same system. That's how that's going to happen. We don't know that yet, uh, but from the type of upgrades we saw on the trailer and the demo, it is looking like it is the normal uh, upgrade system but we're gonna have drift suspension upgrades which is nice uh, driver personalization clothing emotes and more that is good too uh, players can own property which is a huge thing which I'm gonna make a separate video on as well and new items gear and gameplay perks uh, gameplay perks we saw that on horizon 3 with skill points uh, gear we didn't see that so this is looking a lot like the crew too actually <laughs> uh, which is really cool uh, social a new thing here uh, 72 player servers because if you remember what we saw is that this game is basically the whole community in one we're not gonna be limited to 12 people in a server which could be really good for live streams you know uh, keep that in mind uh, so 72 player servers that is incredible let's just hope there's no lag because that's a lot of people in 4k uh, special events will occur, uh, occur throughout the lobby sessions. This is a pretty cool thing we saw in the demo as well. Uh, is that there are different Forza, Forzathon lives is what they call them. Uh, the Crew 2 calls it Live 2. Hmm. Uh, quite similar there. But there's going to be like different events to do. Like we saw the group danger sign which is good as well. Uh, and new danger signs to do also which is a cool thing. Uh, so we have that for us co-op campaign confirmed we had that in Forza Horizon 3 and one cool thing ranked lobbies that's ranked lobbies that's a first and I, I don't think it's a first I didn't play the Horizon or Horizon 2 uh, but that's new for me uh, ranked lobbies in Horizon 3 I, I would love that actually I like to think I'm pretty decent at that game um, the play anywhere means we can do Windows 10 and Xbox One, which is good, and save on each thing. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know about this game, Forza Horizon 4. We'll have to wait till we see uh, the different trailers that are uh, gonna come out. Otherwise, that is in this video. That is everything you need to know in Forza Horizon 4. Make sure to share this video out. See you guys next time. Peace.